Greetings, citizens of Earth. Welcome to Hatch Talks, another live stream about painting and arts. Welcome, welcome, welcome again. It's so nice to see you again. Uh, and today I will be performing an illustration about Hat uh, Ellen. I'm sorry, misclicked it. Sorry, guys, misclicked it. Severus Snape as Ellen, Ellen Rickman as Severus Snape. Uh, I really, really love, love our great Portions Master and one of the greatest spy ever ri written in a book. So, uh, and last day, last few days was an anniversary of Ellen Rickman's death. death and as always, always, uh, it's time to remember him, uh, his great work, his great approach to Severus Snape. So I'm going to uh, draw an illustration about Harry Potter books, about Severus Snape character. Uh, and I, But this probably a sketch-wise illustration, not a finished one. Uh, so I just want to uh, mention you about that. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm an artist artist painter and an artist instructor in Turkey. I have a Turkish channel called Fevkalade Sohbetler, which I'm doing this kind of streams and art videos for over two years, nearly two for two years. Uh, it's so close to say over two years. Uh, as you can see uh, here, this is uh, my channel. So you can see more other videos over there. In our Instagram, uh, account is at Hatch Talks, and you can learn more about me at my uh, Turkish website, uh, Fevkalde Sohbetler. And I write down who I am I and what kind of materials I use in these videos below. Uh, and later on, maybe we will do an Amazon uh, affiliate links too. Uh, so if you like any material here and you use try to use it, please buy it from there. It will be a huge boost for uh, my work and other stuff. So. Let's start, let's start. So welcome to chat. Only two people are watching us today. Hello to you. Thank you for being with me. Uh, and let's start. So we can see, you can see that my materials will be here. I'm going to use a coral uh, drawing pencil and some watercolor, but not two watercolors I'm not going to use today because I'm going to use a very uh, thin, uh, paper and I draw some of the stuff that I want to build. Uh, I'm going to draw Severus Snape. Le, I think this is a better uh, lighting, uh, lightning. Uh, and I'm going to use Severus, build a Severus Snape illustration, making him more like a, a geometric and abstract kind of. Uh, position and stand, and uh, I'm going to use some Snape references from the movie, uh, like uh, in the seventh mo movie when he is at home uh, drinking wine with Bellatrix and uh, Malfoy's mother. I forgot her name, uh, Narcissa, Narcissa Malfoy, uh, and drinking wine, and there are bookshelves back of him. So I'm thinking to use that image uh, and. Also, but not that kind of, I, because I don't like the Severus Snape house in the movies. But Snape is an inventor also. He invents lots of stuff. We know, we know that from the uh, the book that, no, it's the sixth book. Sorry, the sixth book, uh, the half book. Prince, we saw Snape's house in half half blood Prince. Sorry, guys. Uh, I just try to remember everything in English, so I'm sometimes misspell things or misset will say mistakes. Sorry, sorry about that also. Uh, anyway, uh, I always thought Snape's house is more like uh, a solid place that he rests his head, but also in a, some kind of studio or atelier kind of place, because we know that Snape is an inventor. See, he, he invents and can do very complex uh, portions. So if he's a portions, he's School of Hogwarts portions master also. We know that from that point in the book. And after that, we learned, learned that Snape is a great inventor as Half-Blood Prince. So what kind of a house is going to have? Yes, he has lots of book, but I don't believe that Snape is a person that not work at home because he doesn't have a life. His great love is dead. 
we don't we, we learned that that and he always loved her and his patronus didn't change change or change to Lydia's patronus you know uh, to a uh, door maybe we will do make a door reference here i don't know we'll see a comment to the chat thank you great friend thank you you are my greatest uh fan now you, maybe you are the only one who's watching this anyway we'll see uh so uh so we we probably see Severus Snape um, in a studio, an atelier kind of place, not only books. So I uh, use some geometric shapes for the composition, and I use a drawing pen, which will give us ink backwards. As I said, I'm experimenting a little bit, so this won't be a full portrait. I don't plan to use Alan Rickman's uh all his expressions in this before starting i thought maybe snape's is back on us and looking to some some place but i want to do this uh, potions and other stuff and all the glasses over there so maybe maybe i'm going to change my mind i changed my mind and maybe i will change again during the stream i don't know but basically this is an experimentation uh, for future uh, drawings and future projects uh, because doing a portrait especially a, from a very well known person uh, is a is a new thing for me uh, because when you uh, decide to do this kind of stuff you have to uh, you have to uh, find the uh, another kind of um things to show you know his gesture his characteristics and other stuff so so it will be hard to uh hard to find but maybe i'm i, I will try to find the likeness of the character but not Ellen Rickman himself I can't do both I can't experiment both trying to find a good living and studying place for Severus Snape and try to do Ellen Rickman's face expressions in the same time I, I don't want to do that uh, and it is a, a futile uh, experiment to do in a live stream in which I plan to do it in one hour to finish in one hour uh whatever this drawing goes on so it will probably the best that we will leave it like that and give a snape a glass maybe and something because i have this on my reference but maybe a wand yes yeah, snape is like he's thinking what to do yes this is this is better snape is thinking what to do and we will see so uh, another quick stuff that we need a study place which snape can read some stuff you know from books and other stuff uh, by the way what if you like this video please hit subscribe and Hit like button and share it on Facebook, Twitter, and various social media, please. And if you love Harry Potter character and why, uh, I would like to know about that. Please write it on the chat or comments below. Uh, and let's talk about this uh, also. So, okay, here we are. And we have a small cauldron. So our portions master can work on, and there are some stuff, other stuff that may be a knife, and some things, and maybe a bookshelf on the back, a bookshelf, a bookshelf, and a portion shelf. And may, <laughs> both both will be needed at Severus Snape House because he want he might want to experiment. He's not Professor Slughorn. Slughorn, but Snape, Snape is a old, he, he, he probably think and read. Uh, 
and he's a spy also, right? So he he should more sol sol solitude life, sol more lonely life. Yeah, lonely is the word, right? Uh, a lonely life, and also uh, he has to read, write, think a lot. A lot. He has has to. Uh, keep his mind calm so that he won't give any secrets to uh, Voldemort. Yeah, I can speak his name. I don't afraid to speak Voldemort's name. I'm not calling him Dark Lord or he who's not he who's not be named. No, he's Voldemort. But I'm not brave enough to say call him Tom. You know. That's Dumbledore's thing to do. Dumbledore can call Voldemort as Tom and maybe Harry himself, but other than that, calling his name is enough. Um, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. We uh, put the things we want to draw in this painting, in this illustration, some bottles which i will like to do more in uh, a little bit more so but these uh violet drawings will be nice so we are going to use statler aquarel pen to show more of the drawing And in future, when I draw more, it will blend in to the illustration. That's why I'm using an aquarel drawing pen. I also use a Jim Case uh, illustration about Severus Snip. I think it's in the third book, third illustrated book in Aska. The prisoner of Azkaban. Jim Kay did a great illustration about Snape. His head is looking down. We are looking him from up angle, and he's like this, and lots of pot bottles all over there. I really, 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 really like that Sever Snape uh, illustration. Uh, but it's also really good to see Alan Rickman. In Half Blood Prince movie, in his study in front of his library at his home, uh, it's also good. So, uh, and and we never see this great portion masters at work. You know, we know that Snape did some stuff and bring it down, but uh, it never described that he when he is working. But I always thought he experiments a lot. He works a lot. He's, he's a great great wizard and he his whole life is about thinking about magic you know he's he's a scholar in a way yes yeah, Severus Snape is a scholar as always even when he's too too young because we know that he invented spells and now we know that he invented spells but it is part of and we I mean did you ever uh Surprised that you heard Half Blood Prince's Severus Snape? I I I don't know. When I first read it, I I'm not shocked. It's like, oh yes, I'm expecting this. Uh, you know, I'm expecting that Severus Snape is Half Blood Half Blood Prince, and it's very poetic justice that. The man who teach Harry Potter everything about potions is also the same man that Harry Potter complained that he didn't learn anything from him. You know? So, that, I like that irony. And I, I look really, really quite like the idea that uh, Rowling herself uh, did this to us because Severus Snape is a great character, great teacher. He takes care of his students. He 
uh, looks at looks up to them. He take their failure failures and show it to them, but he never explains why he do anything because it's not his job uh, until they know already. So it's not his job to explain until his students know already. So Snape is a very, very, very complex char char character that we written and as a teacher figure, I quite like Snape. I always pre prepare Remus Lupin, but Snape, Snape is the kind of teacher we need sometimes. We all have some instructors that we don't understand at, at that time, you know, when we are kids or in high school or in university or in a project, we don't understand their value and they never explain it to us until we know already. Uh, it's like Snape is a darker version of the organ in Ursula the Queen's Earthsea. Snape is a darker ver version, not wiser, darker uh, version of organ. And maybe if he lived, he will be a wiser version uh, wizard, or maybe he's wise, maybe wiser even that more than Dumbledore. I, I'm very sad that he's dead. His job is complete. After defeating Voldemort, he doesn't have a life. I I quite understand that because he betrayed so many people uh, willingly. But because of a necessity, he betrayed them willingly, but as a necessity because he's a spy. It, it is his job to betray someone. He's a double agent. He's not only a spy, he's a double agent. Uh, he has to be a double agent. He's a spy, but acts as a double agent. It's, it's, it's quite, quite uh, difficult job. So after the Battle of Hogwarts, I don't believe that Snape had, will have a life. He should have seen Voldemort's defeat more than any anyone, but Snape will rather die to explain people why he did everything he do. Can you imagine him explaining McGonagall and Shackleball that he loved Lily? He protected everybody and he was Dumbledore's spy all along and his betrayal, everything is Dumbledore's plan. Snape will not, Snape will not do that. Snape will go to Azkaban for it. He will run away he will die but he will not explain he he will not he, he don't want people to know these kind of things so uh it's a way that it's good that snap died by the way i think i quite did the face what do you guys think about it that's purplish thing did the job right yeah it's quite 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 nice. It, 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 I, this is a good start. This is a very, very, very. Let's put this over here so that auto focus can work. Nope. Don't. All right. Yes. Please auto focus work. Work, dear friends. Anyway, Snape will. It is not Snape's. So, but I. What the, I always thought that it is it would be nice to see Severus Snape beyond everything. Maybe he will leave Hogwarts and find someone. Do you believe he can find someone? No, I don't think so. He maybe start working at the Ministry of Magic. Maybe, maybe, but or he will stay at Hogwarts. Just, just let me try to. And there's a camera problem. Sorry for that. The autofocus is not working, is it? I think autofocus is not working. It's a little bit blur. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sometimes, sometimes my camera do, do these things. Let's try to do something else. When it's too much water in here, uh, the camera can't focus uh, everything. 
So let, let's use, oops, I forgot to close this. Sorry, 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 sorry. I forgot to close the fan. Sorry. Why don't you guys say that? I hope you didn't hear this too much. As I said, I don't believe why, why, dear, dear camera, please use autofocus. Please do that, man. Why don't you do that? Sorry. Focus. What do you think about the view? Is it good? By the way, if you think that you are not good at portrait drawing, uh, try try not to do it right. In this way, yes, please autofocus work. I can't believe this. Oh. Don't try to draw everything. Just try to show the real necessary things, the basic form, the basic shapes, and let the other stuff like proportion, like com basics of composition, do their job. Like colors, value, Chat, what do we think about the? I'm not sure that this thing focused everything. I, I'm I'm not quite sure about that, and I don't know what happened. Let's redirect everything. Let's stupid. stupid. Okay. So let's make the cauldron. Did I pronounce this right? Cauldron? I'm all, I always curious about this. Die, did I? Did I, did I die? There's a Turkish song with the lyric is like, did I, did I die? Did I did I die? So let's continue for with the desk a little bit green to the desk so that it will be more darker atmosphere. It will have more dark, dark, more darker atmosphere when I put browns on it. 
What I did this in this illustration is that two things. One of them is I use a pen that his its ink will you know just gives a reaction with the water. So and use some aquarium pens. And when we put watercolor on it or water on it or the ink on it, this Chinese ink. Uh, uh, very naturally. And it, it's as you can see here. Uh, it gives a good back tone to the thing I illustrate. And it's also a good way to experiment, you know. Always, all, always, yeah, always is the motto in this illustration as a subject. Always experiment with some stuff. Exper just, just do some things. Try, just try to show the things in your mind. You know, don't don't bother, don't don't overthink. Just just do, just do. Before this live stream, I just replied an email from a someone who find me on internet. It's a former a student now who wants to go abroad for in to study art, and I'm an art instructor in Turkey. And he found me for my students and via my YouTube channel and asked questions. And I told her that never, never, never stop experimenting about something. Don't ever think it's good enough. My work is not great enough. Never just do it. Find a way to express yourself. People will. Some people always don't like it, the things you do. We are not doing this kind of streams or videos for likes. I'm not doing it for more likes. Of course, I, I, I became happy when people love the thing I do, but I don't do it for subscribers. I live with this profession and I want to be good in it and try to be successful in it but i'm not letting that my likes or subscribes or people cheering me describes who i am describes my work i just want to show you that every artist and every thinker every individual who um Things beyond common beliefs, experiments, and not afraid to discuss these experimentations to others because real innovation comes from that. The real innovation comes when we experiment some stuff. Mm, that's that, that that's quite that's quite a, a phrase isn't it the real experimentation I, I like that I'm not sure I read it somewhere I think I just said it two minutes ago and can be used as a self -motiva motivation sentence maybe. So, dear Severus Snape, let's see closer, closer. This is just a good start for an illustration, a watercolor illustration. This is a quite good start. What do you think? These kind of skates and illustrations are basics of an oil painting, you know. When you 
do an oil painting or an acrylic base painting this is this is kind of the stuff that the basics of the painting the starts of, of something so i i really enjoyed what i did here i continue to do some and i'm thinking for not finishing everything just maybe i will leave some stuff uh, I'm planning to leave some of the stuff that I did here, uh, but his blackness is black. This dark, dark figure uh, need to be more uh, known for the viewer. So we will make a second uh, second. What what second? Katman, we call it a second volume, uh, a volume of paint. Never, never try to finish your painting in, in one stroke. You need several brush strokes. You need several movements, and you need to, f you need to make more gestures in a painting in an, in, on an illustration it doesn't matter what you do you can do hyper realistic you can do a cubist you can do abstract you can do surrealist it, it, it doesn't matter you the real the real thing in a drawing or an illustration is you have to stroke several times like in drawing like hatching you know because hatching is blah blah blah, blah bringing lots of lines together and give them a meaning this is what that technique do so you may use brush uh, you may use different kind of materials other than pen and pencil but the basics of hatching is with you you will bring some color on paper on surface and bring it together and those strokes get some meaning in the thing you do i hope i explained it well with my rusty rusty english by the way this is my new uh, studio space uh, first english broadcast in here uh, and i'm planning to do show you guys that how i live stream art videos because <laughs> this this is the thing in my turkish channel also find it very very difficult uh to solve uh i know how to draw i know how to explain people uh, and i'm quite like and to be in front of an audience when i talk about art uh because in classroom and in other projects i'm quite used to I, i'm a very shy person in my exhibitions when it's my exhibition time i just don't want to be there I'm, i can be very shy about my work but i'm very uh very What's the word? It's like outgoing. Uh, I'm really good at ex expressing myself about art. If the subject is not me, it's about art and drawing itself. I, I, li I like talking about it. But the deal, real difficulty was to, f to uh, record these videos in an angle that uh, can be meaning for the viewer if you don't have expensive equipment. I'm doing this live stream with my phone and the webcam, and that's it. Because I, can, I can't afford a converter for my camera or a setup that, that can be here and using the cam, everything. And I sold these things in my Turkish channel uh, next year we start to, I started to live 
streaming uh, with COVID, with COVID, and uh, it was like hmm, ten months now, ten, close to ten months, nine to ten. Uh, ten. Yeah, close to experiment a lot, <laughs> and what? So I'm thinking that it will be nice to show people how to record an art video because when I see YouTube, that I lots of people draw beautiful, beautiful things, but their angle is so wrong. Their Showing the things, the things they show is so unbalanced. Uh, it just goes away, you know. So maybe a good art video for beginners. How to? Because it's just not about yourself anymore. We are living in a world that online education is something that we all, all. Uh, get used to and as I talk to my students and other colleagues I notice that most of, most art teachers can't do their jobs properly students are complaining about this normally uh, because they don't solve how to use their skill uh, in this new environment, because we artists so used our art, we learn in a studio, but we have to we have to project our normal studio behavior to uh, online video classes. Yes, I know uh, YouTube is a place that most people do that, and there are some examples of it. But I'm not sure that we all uh, find uh, the real solution that we need as art instructors and art teachers. It's not just about finding subscribers and finding uh, new people to buy our art to support us. It's this is an educational tool now, you know. So we all try to find a way. So I'm thinking about showing my studio and other stuff here. And when I do that, I will add the link to that this video up. So Severus Snape in his study. A small sketch. Of a great hero. Snape is a hero, you know. There's a video like, uh, what's, what was his name? Uh, Potter Muppet Pulse. Did you ever watch it? It's, it's quite funny, actually. Uh, and there's a song about Snape. It's like, Snape, Snape, Severus Snape, 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 Severus Snape, Dumbledore. <laughs> Wrong Weasley. Snape, Snape. Singing our song, blah, 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 dig. Blah, blah, blah. It goes on like that. But I'm stopping now because I know my voice is quite bad. And when I start to sing my cat, which is below, uh, just mirrors and brings out noises. 
which like stop singing man so i'm i'll stop it is oily hair Uh, in a few minutes, I'm going to finish this uh, because the paper get too wet, as you can see. Uh, I have to... <laughs> Don't do that to me. Uh, I have to stop now in just a few minutes and have to wait. And I will... When I finish, I will share it with you guys later. A little bit browny, so that it can become more gray, and we can add more but bottles over here, just in this silhouette. A comment. Yeah, is it called Hogwarts charm? But my cat didn't like that. I don't know, it's called Hogwarts Charm. Yes, I think I think I'm done. I think that's that is enough. Uh, it's a quite good sketch for a start and uh, we can build a good illustration for that. But what I think is what this illustration needs a little bit more work. Like this, this space is too, too empty. We need, we need more, more like I just do a small sketch and with ink. Like if we have a, uh, angle here which is in front of his say and let's say we need another over here as well so that he can put other stuff or maybe this will turn to a Hogwarts classroom he's just moving around desks maybe uh, maybe we'll just leave it to the Weaver, quiet. But I, I think I think we, this is a thing we need in here also. A little bit there and yeah. I think I think it's quite finished for today, and ready to experiment for another uh, version. But I I quite like this illustration i wish i started with a good paper you know this is this is too thin paper uh, and not very really good it's a good for a watercolor sketch but not not good for a finished watercolor work uh, we need a 300 gram uh, good uh, watercolor paper for that and i didn't start with that uh, i just thought it will be a good uh, sketch so i think it's finished and it's a good basic start so thank you for uh, being with me tonight and i hope uh, you like hatch talks uh, and as kid was said in 101 things to learn in art school art is an idea that belongs to everyone it's found in every culture so i'm i'm quite happy to share these things with you and see you on friday 10 p.m. It's GMT three time zone. 
and later on uh, we have small videos in our ch ch channel uh, that I hope you'll like. So thank you for watching me. Live long and prosper and see you again. Bye-bye.